Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have what are their true intentions and love. And we have uh, several oracle cards for you, Sagittarius. These are general readings, so please don't live or die by these, no. Uh, but we have a situation here for sure. I feel like somebody went through a major awakening here, right? We're going to have your person's cards here too. Uh, somebody has gone through rebirth in consciousness, right? Uh, we see the lotus flower, right, which can talk about that. And we also see the the bat, right? The camouflage is here, the cloak. Somebody here, this means somebody has, like, kind of all their power. Uh, they have it, but they maybe they uh, are hiding. They could have been hiding. Somebody could have been hiding something here. Or maybe they were just trying to kind of, what's the word, like, Let's see what it has to say about the camouflage card, right? Uh, which is really the cloak. We see the man, uh, could be a woman here, and they're all kind of covered up here. The owl is here, uh, or the fox is here. It's almost like they are. They have been kind of calculating something for sure, right? Let's have a look here at the cloak. Let's see what they have to say about this. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the wise one in you knows when to maintain silence. Wow. So somebody here is being uh, quiet here. They are. It could be a mature man, Sagittarius. Maybe that's your person, right? And they're all in their perspective. Uh, this can talk about looking at things from different perspectives, maybe having a new perspective with this rebirth in consciousness card right here. Uh, and, you know, I feel like something is faded and somebody woke up here. The fate card is here. <clears throat> and so... Somebody had a major awakening here, and they realize that this is fated, right, by the gods, by the universe. This is meant to be. Uh, and this card, Creatures Paw, can talk about forgiveness or, or a friendship. You might be friend with, friends with somebody here. There could be a real electric connection here. I feel like there is next to fate. Yeah, there's some type of electromagnetic uh, where you guys are really drawn to each other. This elixir card is here. It can talk about uh, attending. Maybe somebody is really kind of, maybe maybe they want to attend to this kind of, or give to this, right? But somebody, there could be toxicity here, right? We see, it's like, there some, could be somebody who is maybe in a toxic situation. Maybe this is toxic. I don't feel like this is probably, this is it. We have uh, the staircase here. Somebody's making a choice here, right? This is... Uh, and we're going to complete this spread in the extended, right? The Lenormand spread, uh, we are. And that is somebody, a mature man's probably uh, making a choice. Here he is, uh, all about his perspective, right? Which is kind of how you are seeing it, kind of, right? Maybe they are seeing it different because that's what Gertrude Stein was about. She, you know, she saw everything from a majorly different perspective. Yeah, she did, uh, you know, as she kind of continued in her career. I think she was some type of an artist, right? We have the official person here. This can be, uh, maybe it's somebody who's controlling. Could be. Uh, could be anybody who wears a uniform. It could be somebody who's just kind of calling the shot sometimes, right? Uh, and so, you know, this can be, this is an interesting card here. We have containment, invisibility. Uh, the cloak signifies a time to hold yourself and your ideas with care and to proceed with caution not revealing yourself or your intentions to others too soon. Observe and weigh up whether to speak or be silent. Act or wait. Things are germinating. Yeah, and weigh up whether or not, like, decide whether or not you should speak up or be silent. Things are germinating and require the right attention. Yeah, and that's what this uh, toxicity card can talk about. Uh, elixir, rather. It can talk about somebody who is, like... Uh, really kind of trying to pay attention here to what they are doing. Somebody is making a choice here, and they might be being quiet about it, Sagittarius. They could, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are many thieves on the road to enlightenment who may well be looking for what you have to give. More vis Move invisibly, cloaking your future plans. Wow. <clears throat> right? Be patient. All will be soon in place for a revelation. Whatever you need to progress will be signposted clearly. <laughs> uh, learn how to read and trust these signs. Somebody is went through an, uh, an awakening here. Yeah, definitely. Right? 
Mm -hmm. And then we have the bat. Let's see what they say about the bat. This is rebirth in consciousness. It is. Let's see what they have to say about the bat. Rebirth, change, spiritual awakening. Yeah, consciousness awakens your fight, your flight to freedom. Yeah, somebody is like waking up and it is part of their liberation, the process itself, waking up, right? Uh, I feel like somebody's waking up to the fact that this is faded. Uh, it could be so electro, kind of, there could be such an electric connection with somebody here that that is part of their kind of awakening, like, wow, uh, I didn't know, like, like, I didn't know, I kind of realized that this connection is so kind of electric here that this person must be fated for me because I'm paying, you know, I feel like this person is paying attention to the signs, right? Uh, let's see what we have, maybe they want forgiveness, the preacher's paw can be forgiveness, it can. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius, and we have the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Swords, okay. You could have been worried here, maybe, about this passionate new opportunity. What's on your mind is relationship troubles. This could be somebody else is in this Nine of Swords energy, Capricorn, uh, uh, Sagittarius, because it's right next to uh, this card. Your challenge is the Eight, Seven of Pentacles. Uh, maybe you want somebody to be determined to come. That's kind of how it looks here. Looks like you have been worried about this uh, new opportunity you want with somebody. We have the Seven of Swords showing up in the hope. <laughs> you know, you could be hoping somebody will kind of uh, plan, uh, plan like their their escape, kind of. This is deception here in the Seven of Swords. Next to the Seven of Pentacles, you're totally evaluating here, or you have been. Your fear could be the Three of Pentacles, like this isn't going to work out for you. Here they are, like completing this in the end. You could think this won't work for you. Uh, they're, you know, here they are in the church, and they are uh, just putting the finishing touches on the stained glass window, which is so very beautiful, right? Let's see what we have uh, for Sagittarius' person. Their challenge is the Fool card. Yeah, this person wants a new adventure with you too, Sagittarius. They do. And the Six of Cups is what they want. This is your person from the past. They want to... For me, they want to return to you here. You are their person from the past. This is clear. But uh, they want to come. I feel like this person wants a new adventure with you here. What's on their mind is the emperor. And he's he has the slain lamb. Like he has killed the lamb uh, for a sacrifice. I feel like this person is uh, really getting ready to sacrifice somebody here. That's kind of how it looks. We have... Uh, the two of doors or the staircase and that is all about a decision or a choice between two people they could be in a toxic union right now it's possible here because I don't think this person is with you maybe it was toxic before but we see the rebirth in consciousness like somebody woke up here right they had an awakening and we see the cloak and which talks about your like your <clears throat> Your intentions and your plans are, are being uh, held or they're, you're keeping them quiet. This person is keeping this quiet down here. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius, the Three of Swords. This is what's on your mind and the Five of Wands. Yeah, this could be a third party all the way, although I don't feel like you are maybe with this person. It looks like, <clears throat> to me, they want to come and be with you and like like close out or leave another relationship it does look like that here let's see because their fool is the challenge like the fool like i can't get on the road and i can't have this adventure with sagittarius until <clears throat> probably until they sacrifice somebody and your challenge here is the tower reversed in this deck here <clears throat> you're afraid of disaster here or an ending or ruin or that they won't join you, Sagittarius. This tower really is about joining somebody. Getting back into the tower to like kind of have a redo. And here you are uh, in the challenge here. Uh, you might think that this person is not determined enough to kind of, yeah. I feel like you feel like they're not determined enough. What you want here is the Seven of Swords and the Hangman. The Hanged Man is reversed here. You might want this person maybe to like... It's possible you want them to sacrifice, like, yeah, possibly over here. Yeah, because 
what's on their mind is a sacrifice, I believe. It's possible you want this person to sacrifice maybe Pisces. Maybe your person is Pisces. But it looks like you kind of want somebody to let something go here. The King of Wands, of course, for you, right? Uh, let's see. You, you could be hoping that they are planning their escape. Yeah. Because that's what the man's doing here. He's putting these swords together, but he's really planning, right? This is about deception. You could be hoping for deception, but not for you, Sagittarius. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have, <clears throat> we have no judgment over here. Good God, no, no. And this is faded, most likely. So if it's faded, there's nothing you can do about it, right? It's like you can't fight the powers of love. No, that's kind of how it looks. And your fear or your doubt is the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So you could be doubting this person will kind of abandon this other situation. You could be doubting that here and that things will not work out. Yeah, I feel like, and you know, and you're not going to be a team with them. <coughs> Because that's what you want. You want a team. You want this person to come and join you for this Ace of Wands. I feel like in the past, uh, maybe you feel like this was kind of cruel to you. Or this was super, uh, maybe you felt like that. Like, wow, this is like a lot of anxiety. This is this feels cruel, me kind of not being with somebody. You could feel, you could know here, Sagittarius, that this is faded. Like somebody went through an awakening here. I feel like it's probably your person. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's you here, it doesn't. So let's see, let's look at their energy. They have, in the past, they could have had a really sad ending. Uh, but I feel maybe you had a sad ending with them. They have the Ten of Cups here. And this is kind of staying together regardless of whatever. I feel like this person might have ended another situation with somebody right here. I feel like they probably did. They could be drinking a lot here with this elixir card. Let's see what we have. And the Empress here. I feel like this person either went through an ending or this is what they're going to do here. Yeah, they're going to end it with somebody. The challenge is the fool. Unless they have ended it already with somebody, right? Uh, not for all, but since the fool is the challenge, Sagittarius, they could have uh, closed another, you know... Uh, they could have kind of left, broke up with somebody here already, and now, you know, the challenge is is the journey with you, or taking a chance, or taking a risk. But I don't think that this person, I'm not sure if they have left somebody yet. I, I'm not really sure here, right? Because here they are making a choice, or this is about a choice, right? The, the, the staircase is about a choice. Like, am I going to, what am I choosing here? Let's get another car for Sagittarius's person. We have the Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this can talk about wealth here, and it can talk about also sharing and bringing balance. Let's see what we have here for the Six of Pentacles in this deck. Share the wealth. Yeah, it demonstrates a need for balance in giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. Charity, benevolence, goodwill here. I just feel like this person here... Uh, wants balance with you. I feel like they do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, and this could talk about, you know, maybe there's a third party there, or there's three people here, right? And so let's look at their challenge here. They have the Emperor Sagittarius. Your person in their current energy, this could be right here, they have the Empress and the Knight of Cups. Here the woman hands the man the winning cup, and that is really her love or kind of her proposal to him. And he's reaching out right here. He wants it. Your person wants this with you. You are their passionate empress, Sagittarius. You are. They feel like this is faded, too. Yeah, I feel like they do. And I feel like this awakening this person went through has, like, shown them that or has illustrated to them or has kind of, you know, yeah, proved to them kind of that this is faded, right? Because we have Eileen Chang here. And we have the bat, which is a rebirth in consciousness. Their challenge is the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles. So this could be determination right here. Uh, possessiveness here. Maybe their challenge is money. They can't sacrifice another situation for money. Their challenge is kind of getting in the driver's seat, uh, the driver's seat of their life, right? Getting in the car, and kind of, right? They're taking control of their life here. They want this adventure. 
in the challenge, but what's on their mind, I believe, is a sacrifice here with the lamb and the emperor. Uh, and maybe their money is what's on their mind. This can talk about greed. It can. The Four of Pentacles uh, and the Eight of Wands. This is change and developments here. Mm -hmm. This person wants to hold on to you, Sagittarius. That's what this is. This is possessiveness here. They really want to hold on to you. Uh, they know this is really electric with the eel, right? And maybe they consider this to be a friendship and a beautiful romance. It could be. Because uh, this is faded, this person realizes that. I feel like they have changed their perspective. Yeah, they have through an awakening. But I feel like this person uh, I just feel like they know this is really magnetic here and they want this change in their life. The Eight of Wands. This is movement. This is passion and uh, could be total, complete inspiration. This person wants to hold on to you. The challenge here is that they have to uh, sacrifice somebody here or they have maybe the knight of wands showing up in the challenge this is you this is taking action this is having the courage uh, and this is in their challenge uh, this is what's on their mind I beg your pardon here right next to their challenge the fool though so this is clear here this person wants this adventure they want change they this person I feel like really wants to hold on to you badly Yeah, for me, this person is looking at it like, I have to be loyal, I have to go be with Sagittarius, like, Sagittarius is the one, and I have to be loyal to that, like, this is faded, like, they, they know this is meant to be, we have the devil here in the challenge for them, they're in bondage here, they have some fear here, I feel like this person, uh, th this person does feel stuck on some level, but I don't think it's stuck about this decision, I just feel like they feel like, uh, are, are about like knowing what they really want here. I feel like they might have to walk away from somebody here and uh, this devil is here kind of, uh, I just feel they, like they feel really bad about this, but it looks to me like the death card, see, in the challenge. They feel really lousy about ending it, excuse me, another situation here. They could have heard somebody already, five of cups. Maybe you had this with them, right? Like a sad ending or a sad kind of grieving or something like that. I feel like this person has regret. Yes. This person has regret, I believe, Sagittarius, uh, probably for getting into union with somebody else. Or they have regret to about what they have done in the past. They could have sacrificed you here as well. They could have. But they want to hold on to you definitely here. Uh, and the Six of Cups is what they want with the Eight of Swords. Here's, uh, this is all about them, like, ending another situation. This is, they're walking somebody out to their death, Sagittarius. This is an execution, not a real death, in case, you know, somebody has, you know, never watched videos before on this stuff. Not a real death, Sagittarius. But here they are, <laughs> walking this person out. This is what they are hoping in order to return to you here. You are the one from the past. And their fear is the Page of Cups or their doubt, right? And we have the Five of Swords. See, this is a major struggle, uh, but they could feel that if possibly if they are defeating somebody here, that you will pose like a struggle, like between them, right? It's possible here. Let's get a card on their fear, their doubt. This is uh, Sacrifice again, the Black Mass. This person is afraid here possibly, or doubting here, maybe if they sacrifice somebody else, if they're going to have a victory with you. I'm pretty sure here, or, yeah, OMG, let's see what else they want. They have the moon card. See, they have doubts and fears all about this. This person, like, this is their, like, they're not sure if this is going to be an illusion with you, like, if they choose you. Like, they don't, I feel like this person's not sure if you're still in love with them. They could have been gone for a while. So we're going to end this reading, Sagittarius, and uh, we're going to find out how they feel about you. We're going to have their whole spread in the other reading. We're also going to finish the Lenormand spread, right, where we have the choice that's being made here with the staircase, uh, possibly by a mature man. But we're going to see how they feel, you know, and also the energy, the shared energies between you guys, right, like the underlying energies. We're going to see how they are seeing this situation, 
we're also going to see what they might want to say to you, Sagittarius, right? What they, yeah, exactly. And their environment, any external influences, what you don't know about them. Yeah, what could be hidden. And, of course, their two intentions. And they're all super affordable. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really want to see this reading. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys.